you guys welcome back okay so it's time for another episode of new releases with kk <laughs> okay this is just my version of kind of going through some of the latest releases in makeup and beauty and skincare and all of that good stuff that we find on trend mood or my girl amy's indie makeup spotlight instagram page and just kind of run through give you the deets and let you know my thoughts on it <laughs> and that's about it so as you can see i'm just chilly chill chillaxing right now and i just want to talk about a few of these things okay it's a lot so i'm not going to be able to touch everything but there are a few that i do want to talk about so i'm gonna go ahead and start out on amy's instagram page which is indie makeup spotlight I'll have that linked down in my description box, of course. And yeah, there's a few things on here that caught my eye, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first item here is from Amy Hart's Beauty, and it looks like they're coming out with six new multi-chromes. It doesn't have a release date or pricing or anything like that, but these shimmery shadows caught my eye they're very very pretty i like the shades so it's definitely something that i'm going to keep my eye open for in the future so i'll be sure to um, look out for that next here there's a palette from gourmand girls cosmetics i don't know if i've heard of them gourmand girls cosmetics times bat girlecta <laughs> Now that's a mouthful, okay. Um, volume two palette available now for $30. You can use code BATGIRLECTA for 15% off. Now this palette here is really, really pretty. I don't know if it's the packaging or just the color selection or color placement, but I'm feeling this palette. It is really, really pretty. Now, y'all, I'm trying to do good on my low buy. I really am. I'm trying to chill, you know, stay chillactic and all of that. <laughs> it's been hard. I mean, honestly, it's been hard. I kind of just been like, you know, bump that low buy. I'm going to buy what I want. But I am really, really trying to be more selective with what I do purchase. And this palette here is very pretty now i've never tried anything from gourmand girls cosmetics so maybe if there's some reviews or something out there i could check it out but that's a pretty palette and i could save 15 percent, so that's not bad next here i see divina cosmetics is going to be launching what looks like six new shades, I guess when they do their reopening. And they'll also be launching a variety of new empty palettes to choose from. So, okay, those are pretty. They look kind of like a silver multi-chrome type of packaging for some single shadows. So those are really cute. I'll have to keep my eye open for that. But the shadows, very, very pretty, very pretty. They don't look extremely unique like something that maybe i don't already have but they are very very pretty and you can use code amy loves to save some money on those as well also she has on here from terra moon cosmetics cosmic chameleon shadows are now available for pre-order 13 dollars each or you can get the set of six for 70 dollars okay so <laughs> those aren't cheap but they're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Those are really, really pretty. That green, that gold, that blue, that purple. All of them are really, really pretty. You can save 15% using code Amy Loves. But see, this is where I get into trouble with these type of shadows. Because when I can't choose, I tend to just kind of buy the whole collection and yeah that will keep me from buying these because honey i'm not in the mood to spend 70 dollars for six shadows i'm just not <laughs> even with a discount i'm still not in the mood so yeah but those are really 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 pretty absolutely gorgeous okay i think i want to talk about one more thing from amy's page now this is new from alamar cosmetics it's the brighton and bronze complexion trio palettes 
um, available for $25. They are available now. Also, there's a complexion brush trio for $36. Um, and she says here they have a few different bundle deals. Oh my goodness. This looks really nice. <laughs> These look really nice. They really do. I like the fact that they have three different palettes to choose from. You know, like they're not just trying to force everybody to make one palette work. I really like that. And the deepest one looks like it's a nice deep palette, okay? Those brushes are really, really cute. Really, really pretty. So that one is actually kind of like in the back of my mind as a possible purchase. <laughs> So, yeah, I really like what Alamar came out with as far as this set goes. Very, very nice. So that's a maybe, a possible purchase for your girl. Okay, so moving on to trend mood. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, okay. So Elsie Cosmetics has come out with some new lip balms. It says a lip treatment moisturizing balm that not only leaves the lips feeling soft and plush but also the ultimate treatment for nourishment and hydration and repair um $24 $24 for a lip balm <laughs> I guess Elsie is not the brand for me because I don't pay $24 for lip balm so I'm sure it's very very nice it says here, shea butter, jojoba, sunflower waxes, mimosa wax, anti-aging, water and wear resistant. Yeah, sounds like a nice lip balm, but I won't be picking any of those. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, so they have clear, coral, and pink. You can get the trio for 68 smacks. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Next we have here from Too Faced. They're adding an item to their Clover collection. It's the Sun Puppy Bronze, a silky bronzer made with three blendable complexion boosting shades for natural sun-kissed glow, $32. I mean, it's cute, but it ain't gonna work for me. <laughs> that is, that's not gonna work for me. So yeah, no thanks. It'll be available on February the 25th for $32, so you know there you have it okay so it looks like ColourPop is coming out with some luxe lip glosses now when i saw the luxe lipsticks i was like those look really nice i still haven't picked any up i think the set that i was looking at actually sold out so i have to wait till that comes back in stock but now they have luxe glosses okay so maybe i can try one of these there's eight shades they're $8 each, which isn't too bad, you know, I mean, yeah, I guess it's not too bad, but eight different shades. Let's take a look. It says cushiony, high shine, hydrating, nourish, and soften lips with an exclusive blend of extracts, black rose, poppy seed, Madagascar vanilla extract. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the ones that look appealing to me, I think, would be Dream Queen, Tied Up, and Ticklish. Yeah, those three. Blissful is pretty as well. So, yeah, there's a few that I have to choose from to try, but those look really nice. I might end up grabbing one of those, one or two of those, when I try out the Lux lipsticks, but those are nice. Okay, so everybody knows Jaclyn Hill just dropped a new palette with Morphe, okay? Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Brushes Volume 2 for $39. You get mattes, shimmers, and sparkly finishes. She also is coming out with a new brush set for $99. Um, this palette is cute. It's cute. It's not anything like extraordinary, new, innovative, none of those things. But she picked the right shades to put together in a palette, okay? Because the whole sunset vibe is, it's, it never gets old. It never gets old. It's gorgeous. It's a palette that has a lot of different 
shadows that you can use for different types of looks. There's a white in there, a black in there, some reds, purples, pinks, oranges, some warm tones, you know, shimmer. So yeah, you could do a lot with that palette. You really can. Now, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, mm, it's tough with Jacqueline because you know, she, ooh, child. Anyway, I can't say whether I will or will not be purchasing this palette because I won't say I'm not getting it because I might get a wild hair one day. It might be at Ulta and it might be a sale. Who knows, you know? But I, I mean, I'll give her that. It is a pretty palette. I never purchase any of her brush sets. So that's not even something that appeals to me. I just don't. Um... So yeah, I definitely won't be getting that brush set. But yeah, I don't know. If I catch the palette on a good sale, <laughs> you never know, okay? You never know, you never know. You never know, you never, 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 never know. No, 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 no. You never know. <laughs> okay. So we know Jeffree Star is dropping a whole new collection as well. Brand new palette, skin frost, lip glosses, all of that like he tends to do. And I have to admit, when it comes to packaging, design, shade selection, I mean, Jeffree Star is a genius, okay? He really is when it comes to designing new, unique, innovative makeup products. He does that, okay? So this palette is really cute. It is, it's really cute. I will give it that. Okay, so his new palette is going to be the Bloodlust 18 Shades for $54. Um, I'm not saying the name of that liquid lipstick. Yeah, I'm not saying the name of his new <laughs> Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick set, $52. And it has two new shades in it, a new Extreme Frost, Choking on Ice, $50. Is that how much you guys pay for those Extreme Frost? $50? What? Ooh, child. Okay, glosses are $18 each. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Crown Hand Mirror for $30. Lavender and Purple Glitter Star Hand Mirror, $25. I mean, you know, it has, it lists everything on the trip mood page if you want to know the cost on everything. But yeah, he's coming out with a whole new collection. And like I said, I have to give it to him because his stuff is very creative and very unique. So you go, girl. So this new Jeffree Star collection will be available on February the 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so here we have something new from Tom Ford. It looks like it's a foundation. The Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation with SPF 50. Okay. Medium to full coverage foundation with three-dimensional radiance that reflects soft light. Fade resistant, moisturizing, nourishing, protecting formula contains a blend of advanced elastomers. Elastomers? <laughs> And light diffusing powders to create the perfect radiant surface. How much is this stuff? $150. $150. 39 shades. It also has a, a new shade and illuminate foundation brush. 2.5 for $100 with firmly packed angled head. $100. So, yeah. It looks very nice if you're into Tom Ford. <laughs> and uh, that's in your price range. Then, honey, hook it on up. But your girl, I'm going to have to pass on that one, okay? Okay, so it looks like Wet n Wild is collabing with Bretman and Rock. And they are launching some new items. An eyeshadow palette, some brushes, a loose highlighter mascara and setting spray available february the 15th online at wet and wild beauty okay now this is a cute little collection cute little packaging um the colors in the palette 
are very, very nice. I really don't buy a lot of Wet n Wild. I really don't. I think the only thing that I really purchase from Wet n Wild on the regular is eyeliner because their eyeliner is the bomb, the black liquid eyeliner. But as far as like complexion products and eyeshadow palettes, I don't buy Wet n Wild stuff. So, hmm. Yeah, and I don't see myself buying this either. But it's cute though. The packaging and everything is really cute. That highlighter looks really pretty. Lip glosses are cute. Um, setting spray looks really nice. I mean, I don't know why they have to go to the extreme with like the names and the wording for these products sometimes because not everybody wants to say that stuff when they're talking about makeup, but whatever. So, you know, I don't follow him. So maybe he says that all the time. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, I don't need to be saying all of that. So anyways, that is the collection with Wet n Wild and Brenton and Rock. Okay, you guys. So Ofra is coming out with some new eyeshadow palettes. Is this out yet? Hold on, hold on. Coming soon online to Ofra Cosmetics. You can get 20% off if you use code Trend Mood. Okay, that's not bad. 20%? Okay, so they're coming out with some eyeshadow palettes, $32. Eh, eh, how many shades? Eh, five shades for $32. Eh. I never really think about Ofra when I'm thinking about eyeshadow. I'm more so, you know, their highlighters are the bomb, okay? So maybe I should try their eyeshadows, but I don't know if I want to pay $30, $32 for five shades. I mean, you know. I know their quality is nice because of the highlighters, but yeah, I don't know. So the first palette is Signature Eyeshadow Palette Galaxy. Palette of cool lavenders and purples inspired by the Neptune highlighter with all new shades. And then they have the Signature Eyeshadow Palette Sweet Dreams, also for $32. A palette of cozy peach and rosy shades inspired by our Pillow Talk highlighter, and all new shades. Okay, so that looks like, is that the highlighter that's in the center? It looks like it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it looks like that is the highlighter that's in the center of the palette. It says it's coming soon to OfraCosmetics.com. Very, very cute. I just don't know if, if I'm ready to spend $32 on a five pan palette. You know, I just got the um, Juvia's Place ones, and those are doing me just fine. So, and the Elf ones, <laughs> the little three dollar Elf ones. Okay, don't sleep on those three dollar Elf palettes. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pass on these. Okay, so it looks like there's a new addition to the Vegan Milk family for Milk Makeup. They're coming out with a Vegan Milk Cleanser. A gentle yet effective sulfate-free cleanser formulated with a blend of vegan milks to wash away dirt, impurities, and makeup without stripping your skin. It's fragrance-free and best for normal to dry skin types and good for sensitive skin. $30. Okay. It sounds really nice, but yeah. Me personally, I really don't purchase a lot of skincare, especially not pricier skincare because I've gotten so much in my monthly subscription boxes that I need to use up that I really try very, very hard not to purchase any skincare because I have so much skincare that I need to use. You guys, it's not even funny and I love skincare, but if you're interested, you know, or if you're looking for a new vegan milk cleanser, there you go. Okay. So Tatcha, it looks like they're coming out with a new liquid primer, okay? I am not mad at it. It says that this is the Silk Canvas Protective Primer in a liquid formula. Liquid Silk Canvas by Tatcha. It's a weightless and oil-free liquid skincare primer that imparts a fresh satin finish infused with three silk extracts, fibroin, saracen and silk powder <laughs> that shield skin from pollutants and makeup it nourishes the skin minimizes clogged pores and helps makeup looks last longer 
$52. Okay. <laughs> that $52 hurts. Hurts my soul. Okay. <laughs> and I know how good the Tatcha Primer is. I love my Tatcha Primer. Okay. But that stuff, it is pricey. But that is so, so tempting. I'm going to have to give me a sample from somewhere. Okay. I hope I can give me a sample from somebody because I really want to try that out. But I can't spend the 52 <laughs> just to try it out. But yeah, that looks really, really nice. Okay. Very nice. And it says it's going to be available on March 3rd at Tatcha and Sephora. Okay, so it looks like Catrice is teaming up with Disney to create a little limited edition collection, Minnie and Daisy. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> very cute. It looks very, very young. It looks very young to me. But they're coming out with two eyeshadow palettes, some nail polish, brushes, also new matte liquid lipstick. It says it's coming soon. Um... Yeah, it's very cute. I think for like a, a preteen or a young teenager or something that, yeah, that would be a cute little gift item or something like that. It has little nail polishes with the little pictures of Minnie and Daisy eyeshadow brushes. And those palettes are, they look muted, at least in these pictures. <laughs> they look nice and muted. So, okay, for, you know, a young teenager to play around with. But, yeah. So, of course, I won't be picking that up. Okay, so it looks like Real Techniques is coming out with their own little cleansing balm. And it looks like it's in one of those cute little containers, like the Juvia's Place one that I just got. I love that Juvia's Place brush cleaner, but it ran out too quickly. I don't even know if it lasted me like two months. Granted, I do wash my brushes a lot. I, I will. I do. I wash my brushes almost every time I use them because... I can't use a dirty brush. I don't care if it if it is, you know, my face that's on there or that's been using it. I just, I can't use a dirty brush because if I, maybe if I use the exact same makeup products every day, I could, but because I use different powders, different blushes, you know, different bronzers, you know, I can't use the same brush because I want a clean brush for my new product. But yeah, maybe because I clean my brushes so much, that's why it ran out so quickly. But yeah, that, the one I got from Juvia's Place, it only lasted me like two months because I bought it, I think in December and yeah, it's pretty much toast. So <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this one would last any longer, but the price on this is really, really nice. So Real Techniques has this new brush cleansing balm and it looks like does it come with that little scrubber it says an instant mess free solution to your brush cleansing needs easily remove buildup and residue from your brushes simply swirl and rinse use with warm water for eight dollars and 99 cents so yes yeah, it's solid cleansing balm and a deep cleansing pad so yeah i think i will probably end up trying this out because you know, when you have to wash your brushes as often as I do, you're always trying out different stuff. I have products that I love and that work excellent for me that I have no issues with, but I like trying new stuff, okay? <laughs> so for $8.99, yeah, your girl is probably going to try that. So very, very cool. Okay, so it looks like Milk Cosmetics has a new collection out for Valentine's Day. It's the Millennial Pinks. Eyeshadow palette includes mattes, metallics, shimmery duo chromes for $58, metal bond gel liner, $19 each, and it comes in OK Boomer, which is silver, or Prissy, which is copper. Glosses are $16 each, or you can get the set for $48. It says that the shades are Sucker, Johnny Rose, Stupid Cupid, and As If. <laughs> Or you can get the whole collection for $99, okay? <laughs> now, it's going to be available on the 14th. So by the time this video goes up, it'll be available. Uh, when I first saw this palette, because you know, that's always the first thing that gets my attention. It didn't knock my socks off at all. It just, it looked so muted to me. I was just like, 
okay. And the thing is, it's not an ugly palette. It's really not. I mean, the blush pink side is very pretty. Gar the gorgeous darker shades, you know, it looks like there's like two blacks, even though I'm assuming that's a black and a really dark gray. Beautiful shimmers, silver. Um, It's just not anything that's appealing to me. I know I can look through my collection and pull every single one of them shades already so because it's not anything remarkable i'm just not drawn to it at all the liners the glitters the lip glosses i'm just none of it i mean the eyeliners are actually really pretty they actually are but i really don't do gel liners so but those are really pretty <laughs> yeah but so I highly, highly doubt if I pick up anything from this collection. I Like I said, I don't think it's ugly. It's not an ugly collection. It's just not anything that's appealing to me. And I'm okay with that. For $58, I'm okay. <laughs> so yeah, no, won't be picking that up. But I mean, it's kind of cute. Okay, so here we have a new drop from Sugar Pill. I don't have... A single item from Sugar Peel. Have never purchased from Sugar Peel. This is the Capsule Collection Pink Edition. A technological marvel. <laughs> really? This transparent palette with molecules of color features nine ultra pigmented new eyeshadows and a blush. The totally unique peel shaped palette with mirror is the perfect dose of cute and functional for $42. You get five mattes four metallics, and one blush. Um, I don't like this palette at all. And it's not because I think the shades are not nice or the colors are not pretty. These strangely shaped palettes, multi-sized pans, just, I don't like that stuff. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm very particular when it comes to eyeshadow pans and stuff like that. I like my stuff to be uniform. I like it to look right. I like it to make sense. So all these different shapes and sizes that they coming out with these different eyeshadow pans, it's, it's, I don't like it and I don't want it. <laughs> it's like, I don't care how gorgeous the shades might be. If the pans are not uniform or at least make sense, I don't want it in this. I don't want it. it <laughs> I don't like it at all, okay? If you like it, if you love it, I'm so happy for you. I don't like it. So yeah, now I don't even want to look at it no more. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, so next we have here from OPV Beauty. This is a blush palette and it is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm just looking at these colors right now. Like this is so freaking pretty. <laughs> it is. These colors are right up my alley. Whenever I see really rich, deep and what appears to be nicely pigmented shades when it comes to blushes and face products and complexion products. It gets me. It gets me every time. This palette is really, really pretty. And I already know I want it. <laughs> I want it. So it's available now because it says available February 13th, which this video will be going up after that. You can use code TRENDMOVE for 10% off. But yes, that is so pretty. And I just, I have to have it. How much is it? So for the cost, I will have to do the conversion rate, but I'm definitely, definitely going to check it out. How much am I willing to pay for that? Who? that's a tough one. How much am I willing to pay for that? Six blushes? I don't know. I'm not even going to say because I've been real cheap lately, <laughs> but it's so pretty. But yeah, I don't know. If I click on there and it's like $35 plus shipping and da 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 da, -da yeah, I'm I'm more likely to just click out of it because, honey, I don't want to pay $40 for no blush. I don't care how pretty it is. <laughs> okay, so Beauty Blender is dropping a new concealer 
40 shades for $26 each and it's available now. It's called the Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. I'm excited about this because I love the Bounce Foundation. I do. I love it. It just, it works out so nicely for me. So whenever a brand comes out with a foundation that I'm absolutely in love with and then they drop a concealer, I feel like I have to try it because it's like if I love the foundation, I might love the concealer. So, anywho, it says it's a weightless, full coverage concealer that uses hyaluronic acid and peptides to create a smooth, undetectable finish. Full coverage with the natural finish in 40 shades. So, yeah, that $26 is going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt, but I have to try it. I do. I got to try it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, next we have here something that's from a brand new brand. Um, it looks like some contour palettes. The brand is called Vanity Makeup Cosmetics, and it's their very first product. So it says they're sculpting palettes for different skin tones. Buttery rich texture that makes blending easy and simple. Each palette has different undertones, and color variations for each skin tone. The formula is pigmented, buttery, and easy to blend, $39 each. Now, I like the fact that they have, what is it? In this picture, it looks like there's five different palettes to choose from for a variation of skin tones. So, yeah, that looks really, really nice. Looks like a highlighter, a concealer, a contour. Not bad at all. And the deep one actually looks kind of nice. You know, the highlighter or the concealer looks very, very light. So I guess you can mix a little bit of that with the darker shade if you want to kind of conceal with a darker color. But that highlighter looks really, really nice. So yeah, these look like they might actually get a lot of play of people trying them out. I think I will want to see some reviews on it, you know, if I was even thinking about purchasing it. I really don't do a lot of cream contours and cream highlighting and stuff like that, even though these look really, really gorgeous. If I bought it, I probably really wouldn't use it that much. So, but I am curious to know though, with this being a new brand, how the products are going to perform. So I probably will be looking for some reviews on these contour palettes. Okay. And I think this is probably going to be the last thing that I talk about. Makeup Revolution has come out with some new cute little monochromatic type palettes for Valentine's Day. It's called the new Heartbreakers Collection. And it includes Heartbreakers Concealer in 18 shades for $9 each, Heartbreaker Shimmer Blush and Matte Blush, eight combinations for $9 each, Heartbreaker Palettes, six palettes are $7 each. Are they available? Yeah, they're available now. Um, I mean, they're cute, but I don't know how much play they're going to get since... ColourPop basically has the monochromatic palettes on lock. <laughs> okay. Hey, honey, they got it down to a science now. Okay. And they've been doing it for a minute now. So, yeah, I don't know how many people who have already purchased the ColourPop palettes are going to dive into these. Although these do look a little bit different, you know, have a little bit different variation than the ColourPop ones. So, they might get some play, but not from me. <laughs> not from me. They are cute, though. You know, seven bucks, that's not too bad. But, yeah, I don't think so. So, I think that's all that I'm going to touch bases on for this new release video, you guys. That was a lot. That was a lot to digest, a lot to see, a lot to think about. But I'm kind of happy because I didn't see a lot that was really piquing my interest. I think the one thing that I really got the most excited about was the Beauty Blender Concealer. <laughs> so, you know, 
there's that but anyways there's a lot of new stuff coming out for you guys to check out let me know down below in the comments if you guys are thinking about picking up any of this stuff if you're interested in any of this stuff and what are your thoughts so thanks so much for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next video Doodle!